Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with Kevin Frischi of Calvinator Engines and today we're going to walk you through the lesson of gapping and filing piston rings. With different engine applications, the, uh, because of the combustion temperatures in the cylinder, the ring end gaps may vary. Um, most of your performance rings are going to come with a sheet like this here that will give you different recommendations whether it's street strip, circle track, or we got blown gas, blown alcohol and such. So we're going to use the blown gas uh, mathematical formula. This is the multiplier. So I'm going to take uh, the bore, 4 inch 125 times 0 0.0055 and we'll come up with 23 thousandths on the top and I did it for the second ring and I'm going to set the second rings at 20. How we check those is you want to square the ring in the cylinder. There's various ways to do that. You want it about one inch down from the top. Now you can purchase a fancy tool such as this here, ring squaring tool and go like that and check your gap and this one here I believe is around eight thousandths so I got quite a ways to go I got uh, if I want to hit 23 um, another method is if you have a flat top piston you could just use your piston to shove that down into one inch down into the cylinder or if you happen to have some masking tape we could just use the masking tape so you can use that as an inexpensive ring squaring tool. Three different methods. And then uh, I have a powered ring filer. One thing I want to say is, is you could actually do this as crude as clamping a file uh, in a vise and then you would hold that in and run this against the file. But you always want to go from the outside in. This being a molly ring, we don't want to flake that molly coating off if I go from the inside out. So we want to file from the outside in and I need to take uh, 13 thousandths off of this to get it to where we want. So we'll do that over here on the power filer. Just the filing machine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the filings will be in that if you happen to get it. <laughs> Double check. I like to sneak up on it instead of saying oops. Yeah, I don't like oops when we're putting engines together. What was that Jeff Goldblum in Independence Day? Oops. I don't like oops. It's a snug 22. Not quite 23. We'll just go ahead and touch it again. I'm noticing how you're inserting that down in there too. That seems important. Oh, I don't. It's out of force of habit. I don't know if I have a rhyme or reason for that. Well, it seems to be a good way to get the ring down in there. So we got it, 23. Now, since we filed it, we put a burr on it. You want to deburr the rings. Even if I don't file the rings, new rings out of the box, I like to make sure we don't have any sharp edges. I want the piston ring to rotate freely around the piston. I don't want it to catch in the groove at all. Rings do rotate while the engine is running. So you're only doing this for the top two rings, you don't gap oil rings? Correct. You will uh, check them typically, but uh, you usually never have a problem with the oil ring. But the top, all the top rings and all the second rings, this is called a file fit ring set. So that's made smaller so that the engine builder can customize the gaps to suit his application. And why would the different gaps be necessary? Because of the combustion temperatures, if this was a nitrous application, say we was running a 300 shot of nitrous, we may actually go bigger yet. So, And that's for expansion, so as it expands, yes. it's going to seal up yes. at that point. So that's the whole reason we're doing this. We, yes. we, it's a calibrated gap, so to speak. Right. Okay. And also, the, I like the file fit ring set. Uh, as you freshen up race engines, we may take a half a thousandths or a thousandths out of the bore. One typically on, on your four inch bore stuff, your four and an eighth inch bore, as we go a thousandths bigger on the bore, that'll uh, make the ring end gap grow by three thousandths. So I can set that gap back to what I want. Very cool. So, 
Well, there you have it, kids. How to gap rings on an engine from the master Kevin Frischie of Calvinator Engines. I'll put a link to his shop down in the description so you can check him out. I'll also put a link to ericthecarguy.com if you have automotive questions. Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if you wish to connect with me socially. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. See you next time.